Hello everyone, welcome back to another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 11, lesson 6, convert customary units of weight. Page number is uh, 729. Guys, before starting today's lesson, don't forget to subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad, and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video. Okay. Uh, you guys get an idea about the customary units of weight in the last lesson. In this lesson, we will convert the units. As I told you in the last lesson, that one pound, uh, the IB is the short form of a pound, is equal to 16 ounces. OZ is the short form for ounces. Okay, So one pound is equal to 16 ounces. Whenever we will convert from pounds to ounces, we'll multiply by 16. From ounces to pounds, we will divide by 16. You guys know that whenever we are converting from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we multiply. And whenever we are converting from, this is a general rule. And whenever we are converting from a smaller unit to a larger one, we divide. Okay. So let us see the first question here. First example. Uh, they are showing some number of packages here and number of ounces like one package is 32 ounces and we know that one pound is equal to 16 ounces so two pounds 16 times 2 32 ounces so it means one package is of two pounds okay here they are asking us to convert four pounds to ounces so we have to times it by 16 4 times 16 that is 64 ounces so 64 ounces means two packages here we write it two packages okay let us move to the next page here now the next thing a ton is very heavy unit of measurement there are two thousand pounds in one ton so one ton is almost two thousand pounds now uh, they want us Use the table to find how many pounds a stegosaurus weigh. Okay, so it's three tons. As we saw here, one ton is 2,000 pounds. Three tons, three times 2,000, 6,000 pounds. Okay, so here is it, 6,000 pounds. Here they show you some uh, tables. You have to convert from pounds to ounces. One pound, 16 ounces. Two pounds, two times 16, 32. Three times 16, 48. Four times 16, 64. And five times 16, 80. And here they're writing in uh, the brackets. The first one for pounds, two, three, four, five from here. And the second one from for ounces, ounces, 32, 48, 64, 80. Here, like this. Okay. This is for tons, two tons, one ton, two thousand pounds, two tons, four thousand, two tons, the first one ton, four thousand. Similarly, uh, you'll multiply by two thousand here. Okay. Six pounds, one pound is sixteen ounces. So six times sixteen, eight times sixteen, ten times sixteen, and twelve times sixteen, and this is the way of writing. The first one for pounds and second one ounces. Uh, tons and pounds here. Three tons, how many pounds? Three times two thousand, six thousand. 2 pounds, 2 times 16, 32, 6 tons, 6 times 2,000, 12,000, 4 and a half pounds, how many ounces? Now you guys see that uh, first you will convert the whole number and then the fraction, then you will add them. 4 pounds, 4 times 16, that is 64, okay? My marker is not writing good, okay, 64. And if one ton is 16 ounces, half ton, half of 16, 8. So 64 plus 8, which is equal to 72. Okay. 10 pounds, 10 times 16, 4 tons, 4 times 2,000. 5 pounds, 5 times 16, 3 tons, 3 times 
2000. Okay, here again, we'll convert the 11 first, then 1 over 4, then you will add them. 11 pounds, 11 times uh, 16. That is equal to 176. One hundred and seventy six. Okay, and one fourth you mean the quarter. So if one pound is sixteen ounces, a quarter of it sixteen divided by four, that is four. So one hundred seventy six plus four, one hundred and eighty. I hope you guys understand this. Let me clear the screen first. Okay. Uh, circle the table that represents the correct relationship between pounds and ounces. Uh, the second one, one pound, no, it's 16 ounces. The second one is wrong. One pound, 16 ounces, two pounds, uh, two times 16 is 32, not 24. So this one is also wrong. Here, uh, they're also opposite way. It's not one ounce, 16 pounds. One pound is 16 ounces. So the first one is correct one. Let us move to the next page. Okay. Uh, what is the least weight of baby giraffe in ounces? The least one is 100 and the highest, greatest one is 150. Okay. So 100 times least, they asked about the least one. 100 times, uh, they give us in pounds and they're asking in ounces. So 100 times 16, 1600 ounces. What is the greatest weight of a baby walrus in ounces? So here the least one is 100, the greatest one is 160, they gave us in pound and they asked us in ounces. So 160 times 16, that is 2560 ounces. Okay. If a baby walrus weighs 100 pounds, how many more ounces does it weigh than a baby alligator? Okay. 100 times 16, first we will convert it into ounces. 100 times 16, that is 1600 ounces. To convert, to find the difference between the baby alligator and walrus, uh, the baby alligator is uh, 2 ounces. So we will minus 2 ounces from this 1600. It's 1598 ounces. It's a huge difference between them. Okay. Tiffany weighed 7 pounds and 12 ounces when she was born. Her weight doubled after 4 months. So double of it, 7 pounds will be 14 pounds, 12 ounces will be 24 ounces. And if you see in this 24 ounces, we have another pound. Uh, if we minus 16, because 1 pound is equal to 16 ounces. So we minus 16 and add it in this 14, it will be 15 pounds. And if we minus 16 from here, the remainder is 8 ounces. So 15 pounds and 8 ounces. Uh, they explained it here, if you read it. I hope you guys understand the lesson. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. And uh, also send me the homeworks through Pioneer. Have a nice day. Thank you so much.